you already have installed the rest api and your app is successfully so next thing i will show you a key example on this uh, uh first go to the so first go to the create recall client mm, uh, here i use a client as node.js client uh, if you haven't installed node.js in your raspberry pi you should have to install it that's it you don't need anything then using nano whatever you like editor open client js files there you should have to provide the usernames and everything there in first uh, yeah in username whatever you like i put us in so 50 bits and i don't want to change and the applications details mm. Mm. because in here as a backend server i use wso2 api manager there i create the api for these uh, sign up uh, applications login then uh, add subscriptions and generate user token so i will show you just wait i have to change those things because yeah so i suppose i'm done if those things are not correct i will get a message I suppose so it seems okay now there is yeah here go so in here we just change You can do it automatically in you know in, uh, in press folder. I made the automatic process make random users and everything there, but it won't show you the process itself. Uh, so it's okay. Mm, now run mode client. It takes some time because Yeah, sorry, the can is down uh, because uh, I already closed this WSO2 server. Uh, you can, I'm using in Windows, you should start WSO2 server there using. Yeah, so it takes some time. In Linux, also, you can do that because it compiles both. I'm trying to the first one. Let's try it. Yeah, you got the message called these successfully and you've been successfully signed now, okay? 
next what we have to do is uh, log into the our um, admin server using our REST API. So yeah, I use HTTP. So if you want to HTTPS, you can do it. Doesn't matter. I provide we provide user certificate of self signed certificates. Maybe when you run that one, those all will be expired. Few. It is so you have to create those certificates and save it. Support. So I'm gonna. Oh sorry, she <laughs> Yeah, you have, because in my database there is a two users, three two, three years, okay? Fifty-four and fifty-five and fifty-six because the now I just showing all the users here for the debugging purposes. If you don't want to do that just Print out that part in your getting data from this SQL to the SQL database. Okay, next thing I will show you um, how to add application to this or WSO2 API manager. <laughs> because in your start working on nanos, it's a little bit tough, a little bit fun. is done successful application is added okay so next I uh, will show you how to add subscribe to your application which has been created to go is really careful Subscription is accepted successfully. Mm. Next, just how to make get these user token from our backend server. To do that, you have to send request here to generate. Some something wrong with my request. Let's see my login provider is the correct or not. User details. That is a little bit brief. User fifty six and application is a forty seven. Yeah, here we go. Default it should be a 40 zones, okay? It's not 44, you lose a Okay, let's try again. Yeah, so you can 
easy that the consumer key and access token consumer secret stands in to create a generator the the applications keys string successful way so that's how this rest api works and if you want to add uh, some more functionalities there what you have to do is uh, Mm, go to yeah in request it's okay mm, in a aim request uh, or api publisher if you want to make us some directly and put the, your client your your where is where is back end okay back end back end service allocator so whatever you like and you know then you in a curl the uh, then you in a database you create some other database to call that that back end server you can do it there in here i use one data for all the things okay you can do some name it some other database you can see it part set the part there so next thing you have to do it uh, in a make file in each directory i create a make file for this uh, compilation process mm, then sorry so deployment folder and then uh, files you can see that these are these this is a clue okay then you whatever you like you just create somewhere as in the c file then view the the x what is the c files which is required to compile that and it's been linking those things into your class your class mean your your main c file mm. then in a clean directory you can set the after if there is something goes wrong when it is clean this is the one is executes so then put the hours and then each directory when you want to compile it's a separate one mm, i will show you how to compile separate one mm, then you can provide these uh, like this when you create a when you are create like this you can do it on this way then you can extend this rest api as you wish so final one so i said if you want to compile in a separate file mm, actually it's not need sudo so let's try sudo mm, let's say login you want to compile login and because i already compiled it uh, so let's just clean it then put login it won't install and it won't compile all the code it just compile what it requires okay these are file it's required so you can see that it's only file no, because in this way you can just check these errors and you can check these backends or request call request is working or not so this is how this going to extend if you want or oh, thank you